So I was trained as a um, computer scientist doing artificial intelligence. So I spent all my life in computer science uh, departments doing artificial intelligence. So same idea of undoing machine with autonomous behavior, making machine more smart, um, uh, just because we use them a lot and the more they work the less we have to work so it's coming from laziness and on the on, on a parallel track of my life um, I'm also uh, a musician and a composer and I started working with dance companies and theater companies and started having an art career totally independent of my training as a scientist. I'm a researcher in um, artificial intelligence which is the science of undoing machine with autonomous behavior. It has been really, really successful and we're surrounded with um, all sorts of machines nowadays. I mean, they bottle water, they fly planes, they regulate nuclear plants, make sure the temperature stays uh, under control, they play chess way better than I do, and, um, and they also play Geoparty now. But um, we found out that uh, a lot of these um, intelligent um, applications um, um, are driven by problem solving and nowadays the main use of computers is creative computing and so people don't really use computers to solve complex problems we still do that scheduling of classes and all that is using AI but a lot of the people now they use computers every day for creative tasks whether it's computer entertainment they use computers to have fun to take or organize pictures to uh, put together videos music things like that and for these type of applications there's very few uh, work on um, getting the machine to be more autonomous. My uh, teaching philosophy always uh, is articulated around the idea that I'd like to teach students things they cannot learn on their own, things they won't learn on Sunday afternoon uh, while reading a book or looking a couple of videos uh, online. So I try to push students in places where they would not be capable of going on their own.